So in phase shift 1.2 we really improved the facial tracking. Uh, one big improvement is that we now include facial features in the tracking and you can see that here in the facial features that are detected in my face. And the advantage of using facial features is not only that we have, for example, improved eye gaze tracking, improved brow tracking, and improved lip sync, but it also allows us then in a later stage to actually adapt these features for cases where it didn't work and to then have refinement of a whole sequence where we can do it. So as before, I'm doing live tracking right now. Um, and I'm gonna do a recording. What I'm doing right now, that would be what you do in face shift. You capture a performance of a person and alright, so now it for example tells me well it couldn't keep up and that part of it is because I'm capturing actually images at the same time to create this video. So what we would do is well we tell please retrick the whole sequence again so that every single frame has been tracked by phase shift. Alright, so we can go through it, we can um, look at the, um, at the performance, we can check it if we are happy with it what we see. But then what it's nice about is we can go in and start actually modifying it. For example, you would say here, well, actually, at this point, the mouth is closed. So you can go in and drag these little marker positions. Uh, in particular for lip closing, you would actually press C because that would close the lips at that position. So once we have set that up, phase shift will go into the neighboring frames and adapting adapt them accordingly and at the same time refine uh, the frames around it in terms of tracking. Now what you can do is basically once you have done a recording you can go through the whole sequence and you can check for points where you're not happy with the alignment for example where you would say well actually I would let's do again here a lip close for example um, can we go somewhere else here well we could you know we could do a small detail, we could go in, actually the lips have to go a, a bit higher up, you know, and same thing we can do for eyebrows and uh, also for the eye gaze. Alright, so now I have set this up. What I can do is I press refine and what refine will do is that we will, phase shift will spend more time in doing the tracking of this, of this clip and you get much improved results out of it. So let's just duplicate it and let's press refine and it will now basically based on our alignments, uh, sorry, based on our feature improvements that we did locally, redetect all features in the video, get better tracks and get also smoother tracks because we also know about the future. So the refinement is a slower process. Um, so typically what you would do is you capture a lot of sequences and you have always the option to press on refine and then click refine all, which will refine all the clips. So typically you would do a take of multiple clips of a performance. You would do some manual corrections where you would see that it didn't, uh, didn't track perfectly the sequence. And then at the end, you would uh, click on refine all and then it will um, refine all of them and for example you could run that overnight um, the, the sequences. Here for example is another part where actually the alignment wasn't perfect I could modify it here again I could run refine also a second time then afterwards what I also want to show you have always the possibility also to do a right click right click will again stop it will reset the feature alignment and detect again uh, with the current feature detector that we have. So you always have the uh, possibility to, to, to go back in the alignment to the original feature detection. Alright, so now we have a very smooth performance and let's have a look at it again. We can look at it. And here we go. So we have the performance, we can take that, we can export it for example to Maya and apply that to our favorite rig.